Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. Let's solve lead code problem number 852, peak index in a mountain array. In this problem, we are given an array which is first strictly increasing and then it is decreasing, right? Now, we have to find the peak index, the index at which we obtain the value or the direction of the problem change, right? Now, in this case, 12 will be our answer, that is at index 5, so 5 will be our answer. Now, let's take one more scenario where the array is strictly decreasing. Now, this will be our peak element, but it is given in the problem that we don't encounter scenarios like this. That is, we should have both an increasing sequence and also a decreasing sequence. So, this is not a valid case that will be given in the problem. Similarly, this is also not a valid case because it is strictly increasing, right? So, both of these are not valid cases. So, we can just focus on this kind of problem statements. Now, what is the brute force approach? The brute force approach is very simple. That is, we'll be starting from the index 0 and we'll be going on. Since it is given in the problem, that is, we will not encounter the corner cases. What we can just do is, instead of comparing the previous value and also the next value, all we can do is we can compare the next value, just the next value, right? For example, when you go at 12, you realize that 12 is actually greater than the next element. This is true only for this element, right? Only for 12 or for the first element. This is true even for 5, but we want the first element that this statement is true for. The first element who is greater than its next element will be our answer, right? So that will be our answer and the first element which is greater than the next element is 12 and 12 will be our answer. Now, can we do this using binary search, right? Why? Because we are not utilizing the fact that this is increasing. Let me show a different example. For example, let's pick up a random element. Let's pick up 6. And we realize that 6 is lesser than its next element. If 6 is less than the next element, then should we even consider 1, 2, 3? No, right? If this element somewhere here is lesser than the next element, what does this mean? You can easily eliminate all of this. So that is what we can use in the binary set. Similarly, on the other hand also, we have this side of the equation where we realize that this element is greater than this element. So can we eliminate all of them? See, we should not exclude this particular element. For example, say we picked up 7, which is actually greater than the next element. We need not eliminate 7, but can we eliminate 5, 2 and 0? Yes, right. Now, 7 will be the right. And we have not yet eliminated 7, but we are including 7 in the search space. And finally, 12 will be our answer and where we'll be starting. So can we use this? Let's do a dry run. Our L will be 0 and our R will be 9 and our mid will be 4. A of mid is equal to H, which is less than 12, which is less than 12. So can we eliminate all the elements? That is 1, 2, 3, 6, 8. Yes, we can eliminate all the elements. And now our new L will be equal to 5. Our R will still be 9. What will be the new mid value? It will be 7. What is at 7? At 7, we have 5. Since at 7, we have 5, which is greater than 2, we can eliminate everything on right. We will not be eliminating, including 5, but just whatever is on right. So our new value of R will be 7 and our mid will be 5 and our mid will become now 6. What is at 6? At 6, we have 7, which is greater than 5. So our new R becomes 6. Our L will be equal to 5. Finally, what will be our mid value? Our mid value which will be equal to 5. Now, which is 12, which is greater than 7. So we can eliminate 7 also from the equation. So once all of these are eliminated, what will be the new value of R? L is equal to 5, R equals to 5. So there is no need to find the mid here because we can stop the equation here when L is less than R. When L is less than R, only then we will continue. We will not include the statement L less than or equal to R. This will be our ending statement. This will be our ending statement. Only we will run the loop only for this. Now let's look at the pseudocode and the similar problems. It's a very simple problem statement. That is, we will be finding the mid and uh, we will be looking at the next element. If it is lesser than the next element, we are eliminating all the elements including the current element also. Uh, but if it is the other case, we will not be eliminating, including, but we will just be eliminating all that is on the right. Finally, we will be returning L. We will not be returning mid value, but L. 
and we have a few similar problems and all these problems were actually discussed in the telegram group and also this was recently discussed in a workshop that we have conducted so if you are someone who is interested please do consider joining the free workshops that will be conducting which will be discussed in the telegram group so do consider joining the telegram group and these problems are from easy level to difficult level and this is one of the hard level problems so do consider joining the group thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe